hey craft lovers and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a diy with a picture frame alcohol ink we're going to need a torch and we're going to need some alcohol so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have somewhere secure to put your picture frame and the reason you need somewhere is because we're going to be working with flames, right? We don't want to burn up your house, right? So you want to make sure you keep it somewhere where it can contain the little flame that um, you'll see once we get through this DIY. So again, so you can use any size frame you want. For this DIY, I'm going to be using a 4x6. I purchased this picture frame from Dollar Tree. So what you would need to do is open this baby up. I'm going to put all of the tools to hang up the frame on the side. So once you take the backing off of everything that helps hang it up, for this particular frame you want to take out the inner frame, which is this border piece. And take this out as well. You also want to take out the glass. You really don't want to get any fingerprints on it because we're going to be using it. Um, I use this pan for acrylic paint, so there's a lot of dents. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to set it up. So, then now we're going to apply the next step. So, the next step is to um pick out the colors of the paint that you want so i'm going to start mine off with gold let's shake it up i'm just going to put some dots so you're going to drop it directly onto the glass don't know what type of design i'm doing right now but i'm just adding in color so I started with gold, I'm going to add some yellow, or should I say dandelion? I know I'm saying that so wrong, but that's how I pronounce it, guys. All right, and I'm going to put it, I'll put it near it. Just do a design that fits you. Put some... All right, once that is, you're going to choose another color. I'm going to throw some white inside. Now let's shake this baby up. Some white. Alright, so after we put white again, I am going to add some coral. Put it in the middle. And if it happened to mix with a color, that's fine. And I'm going to add the last color, which is pistachio. It's pistachio. I like the name of that. So we have gold, we have pistachio, we have white, we have dandelion, we have um, 
coral and we have white I think I said white already all right so once that is done let me put one right here because I didn't miss that spot all right I'm just gonna let it sit for a little bit try to maneuver it probably to get the colors to mix in a little bit so I'm just shifting the pan around to get shifting it around the next step you want to do is you want to I'm going to pour some alcohol in this cap and I'm going to drip it on the alcohol ink And then once that is done, I'm going to take my torch and I'm going to slow this part down so you can really get a glimpse of it. So I'm about to do a slow-mo. So keep watching. So I added some more white and green onto it. I'm going to put a little bit more of the coral as well. Trying to leave no empty spots. All right. Again, we're going to trickle on some of the alcohol onto the alcohol ink. Put it in the cap and just spread it, sprinkle it. Okay, so right now I am going to show you again, but I'm not going to put it in slow-mo so you guys can see the effect. Make sure your camera is far away if you're recording. Make sure you have no paper, no fabric, no material near this before you do it, okay? And if you're a kid, you should not be doing this. This is an adult craft you go right now to go and get an adult and ask them to do this part for you again you take the torch and you just light the side of it like this and then you let the flames die out on its own once there's no more alcohol on the alcohol ink it will stop by itself. I feel like it didn't touch on this side, so I'm just gonna put it on that side so it can do what I need it to do. It's basically like it's staining the glass, which I think is really cool. And that is it. We just wait to dry a little bit and then we're gonna frame it so keep watching I'm gonna let it dry I'm gonna say about for like give it like three minutes because it dries once the flame hit it it dries but we're gonna give it three extra minutes keep watching guys this is another slow-mo for you guys all right now that three minutes has passed I'm gonna take the frame and I am going to put the glass 
in it, right? So you want the alcohol ink to be facing towards you. And if you want, you could put the border back. I want to see how it looks with the border versus without the border. Uh, no, really, no change. But yes. So I'm going to leave the border just for some support. I'm going to close these up right here. And with this picture frame, it can be facing upwards or to, so it can be facing vertical or horizontal. All right, the last one didn't want to go down, but I got it. So this is the finished product. I'm thinking about putting some resin on there to make it shine a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me put the white back in on it so then you guys can see. You see it? See my fingerprints too, but you see the gold, you see the red, you see well the coral, you see the the pistachio. I really like the gold because you know I love gold. It goes with my color scheme in my home. Um <clears throat> you even see like a little hues of the yellow, but the gold really stands out, which I really, really love because that's what I wanted. And this is the finished look. Now you can do this with any color of your choice. Um, you can do this with any size frame. Just make sure that you're careful. Disclaimer, I am not responsible for any of the fire mishaps, okay? I'm not responsible for any of the mishaps. If you're underage, please seek adult um, who is old enough to deal with fire before doing this DIY. Again, Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that bell notification. Deuces, craft lovers. Until next time, talk to you later. This is the finished look. Thanks again for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that bell notification.